Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video we are trying to create balloons with part name or any other parameter instead of serial number. So if you see these balloons, these balloons are having part name which is taken from this table. So let's create balloons with part name or any other parameter in Creo Parametric. So let's get started. So this is my assembly. Now let's open the drawing. So this is my drawing. Now to add balloons with part name, first you create normal balloons and for that go to table, create balloons and you can select any one of these options. I'll go with create balloons all. So I've just got these balloons. Now to add part name with these balloons, just select this table, go to properties, boom balloons and here you have an option called boom balloons parameter. Now you can write down the parameter directly here if you know the parameter. So for the part name, the parameter will be assembly member name. So you can write down asm.mbr.name or you can directly use this option, select change. And using this option, you can select any one of these name. It will automatically change. Say OK. And now you have balloons with part name. Make it normal. So now you have balloons with part name instead of serial number. Not only this, you can change any of the parameter available in this table. So let's try once again, select this table, go to properties, boom balloons and this time I will go with quantity. I will select any one of this quantity. So the boom balloon parameter got changed here. It is report quantity now. Say ok. And now you have balloons with quantity. This item is one quantity. This item is 10 quantity. This item is 20 quantity. So this is how you can call any of these parameters available in this table. Now let's try once again. Select this table. Go to properties. Boom balloons. Select change. Select the name and say OK. So now you have balloons with part name and you can call any of the parameter available in this table. But always remember that if you are calling a parameter which is not available in this table, then you can't. So make sure that you add that parameter in this table before calling to this balloon. Now we have three parameters in this table. So we can call these three parameters whenever we want. For other parameters, you must add that parameter in this table first before calling to this balloon. Now let's try part name with quantity. Select this table once again. Go to properties. Boom balloons. And here you change to quantity split circle. Say OK. Now you have part name with quantity. But if you see carefully, the part name is coming out of the balloon. And this is happening because this balloon, which is quantity split circle, is a custom balloon. And custom balloons are fixed balloons. It doesn't expand as per the text length. So in such cases, if you want to add part name with quantity, then you must create a new custom balloons. I already have a custom balloon which I will show you now. So go to this table, select this, properties, boom balloon and here select for custom, browse and this is my balloons, say ok, that's it. Now you have your part name with quantity. One more custom balloon I have. Let's see that also. Select the table. Properties. Bomb balloon. Browse. This is the second one. Say open. OK. Now this balloon is having item number. This is the fourth item. Quantity with part name. So if you see item number one, one quantity with part name. This is the item number one, one quantity with part name. So these are the two custom balloons which is created to add part name with quantity 
and these custom balloons will be fixed type it will not expand so you need to create these balloons as per your requirement and for the custom balloons i have a separate dedicated video so you can check that video as well now for the time being let's change this simple circle and say okay now your balloons are having part name so this was the idea about balloons with part name and other parameters and i hope this video will be helpful now you can like this video if you find this video helpful and i'll see you in my next video thank you